OneDrive is a cloud-based storage system that allows you to store your files online in the cloud. This means you can access those files from any device with an internet connection. It's similar to Google Docs, which is another cloud-based storage system as well. So if you've ever used that, you might understand how you can access those files from any device with an internet connection. You can share those files with others as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you do not have to share your files on OneDrive. I know that a lot of people are a little nervous about that because you're not storing the files on your actual hard drive of your computer or even on a network drive within your company. You're storing them essentially on Microsoft's servers and network devices out there in the cloud. And so people get a little nervous thinking that anyone's gonna be able to see them, but they are not shared by default. You actually have to choose to share those files. So you can keep them private and so they're not uh, shared with others by default. However, one of the nice features of OneDrive is that you can share them with others. And when you do that, you're able to do something called co-authoring. You're able to work on a document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation at the same time as other users, both internal within your organization or even external. So maybe you're working with a law firm on a project. You can co-author with them even and, and make changes in real time. So it's a really powerful feature being able to co-author. You also have, have two different flavors of OneDrive. You have the OneDrive for Business or the personal OneDrive. So OneDrive for Business is what an organization or a company typically uses so that you can share those files within your organization and it usually has a little uh, more robust um, uh, amount. You have a little more storage available to you typically on the OneDrive for Business. Whereas personal OneDrive, this is one that you can just get for free similar to Google Drive where you probably would want to put pictures of your kids or your dogs or things that maybe don't have anything to do with work you can get a OneDrive that's a personal one as well. And so some people have both. Some people have one that they just have for personal stuff, and then they have their business one. They have their OneDrive for business. So just keep that in mind that there are sort of two different flavors of OneDrive. OneDrive looks like this. You can see that I have some folders, so you're able to have folders, and we'll go over on how to create these and how to organize your files, but you have folders and then you have files. So these are available to me anytime I log in. So if I log into Office 365 and I go to OneDrive, my files are available to me anytime, anywhere I log in. Really powerful. And if I work with the Word Online application, for example, and I were to start a new Word Online document, that's going to save that file right to OneDrive. And so we're going to see that as well. So this is what it looks like. And we're going to go over some of the great features of OneDrive and some of the other videos so you can see how powerful it is to store your files in the cloud.